So here he is. And as you'll see, he is talking about what a horror show this is because I think he's gotten a lot of pressure on his terrible vote. But all right, let's, but I'll, but I'll still break down how frustrating what he's saying is. Bombing refugee camps, bombing ambulances. Hold on. All right. Uh, bombing refugee camps, bombing ambulances, killing thousands of innocent men, women, and children in violation of international law is simply not acceptable. Okay, so you hear that and you go, oh, this guy's going to demand an end to the apartheid state, demand a, not just a ceasefire, but an end to the war entirely, uh, demand the U.S. stop uh, sending arms to Israel and stop funding Israel. Uh, that sir, you, you say an opening line like that. I mean, this isn't the beginning of the speech, but you say something like that. Of course, he should endorse all those things. But in fact, he was on TV the other day, asked if there should be a ceasefire. And he said, quote, there cannot be a ceasefire against someone like Hamas. Now, maybe he's changed his tune a little. I don't know how many days ago that was. I know it wasn't long, maybe a couple of days, but literally said there can't be a ceasefire. So you see these sentences and you go, oh, well, I, I, I guess he's going to call for an end to the apartheid state, an end to the genocide. No, he's not. Uh, and before I, just in case I forget, someone asked where RFK stands on this. RFK Jr. is farther right than I think Netanyahu. RFK Jr. has been the worst politician I have ever seen in my life, besides maybe Lindsey Graham or some shit on Israel. He is wholly in bed and 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 bought off by Israel. It's it's kind of crazy to see, like to the point of making utter false statements saying that Palestinians are paid to murder Jews around the world. Utterly false. And it's like, wow, dude, I don't know. I don't know who's paying him or what his thinking is, but wow, just wow. Anyway, back to Bernie Sanders. It has got to stop. And, you know, it is no great secret that the United States... Now, he doesn't seem to mean that the genocide has to stop. He just means the bombing hospitals need to stop. So basically, Israel can keep bombing... To Gaza and keep Gaza as an open air prison, and like a plot of just concentration camp they own. They can keep that. Just just stop hitting the hospitals, would you? Would you? This provides three point eight billion dollars every year uh, to Israel. Now they can say they don't want the money. Fine, but if they're going to take our money and Biden wants to give them even more, they have got to recognize that they cannot offend. American values, what we stand for, what civilized world stands for. Now, I know that must have made a bunch of you laugh right there. American values. Now, if he means the American people's values, okay, uh, you could make that argument that the American people, if you talk about your average person, not the ruling elite, uh, probably does stand against mass murder. Most Americans, I would imagine, very much stand for that. So if that's what he means by American values, but in terms of American government values, Ah, uh, the American government values are obliterate everyone that's in your way for extraction, for in order to get a country to do your bidding, to vote with you, to allow their resources to be extracted. Hell, if they're just socialist, if a country just wants to give their people health care, we'll try and destroy them. Those are the American values, if you look at our history. So if anyone disagrees with that, then feel free to pick up one of the real history books and uh, actually learn how this how this system works. Pick up, pick up a book by, uh, by uh, you know, uh, Oliver Stone's uh, Untold History of the United States or Smedley Buck Butler's book, uh, War is a Racket. Pick up one of those. All right, let's let's keep going for a minute with Bernie. So in my view, and I'm glad that a number of people recently, because I said this like several weeks ago, understand we need a pause right now in the bombing. He says he said that several weeks ago, but I have seen clips where he was asked about a ceasefire. This is on live news. And he says you can't have a ceasefire with someone like Hamas. Which... Is not just saying, no, there shouldn't be a ceasefire right now. It's saying, oh, no, there should never be a ceasefire until we've murdered their entire government. That that was his stance a couple weeks ago. Now, I will, I, I guess, if, if he's saying he's evolved 
And he heard from people with goddamn souls that that's a bad stance. And he realized it was then. Okay. Maybe you should say that. Maybe you should say, Hey, a couple of weeks ago, I was a sociopath on this, but now I'm starting to change my tune. We need to deal with the horrific humanitarian disaster that you described. I mean, the- uh, so the other thing he's doing here, which is really important to notice, and I've pointed out in a lot of our media, but it feels a little different coming from Bernie Sanders, is you notice he is using the passive voice. He's leaving out the the subject of the sentence. He's not saying where these things created from. The bombing must stop or the the uh, he said um, to how did he phrase it with the he said the crisis. Uh, so, right. We need a pause in the bombing. Who's bombing? Don't know. He's not he's not saying Pause uh, right now in the bombing. We need to. To deal with this horrific crisis. Okay, there, that's another way of phrasing it. To deal with our this horrific crisis. Well, where did the crisis come from? Did it fall out of the sky? Oh, it's Israel perpetrating this crisis. And I'm not denying what happened on October 7th. You can talk about how, you know, I'm opposed to innocent civilians dying. I've brought you also coverage on how it seems very likely the IDF did most of the killing uh, during that time. But still, even even so. I'm opposed to all war. I'm opposed to kidnapping. I'm opposed to, to the, the shooting of civilians. However, th- he is describing this as if this crisis was not created intentionally by Israel. Israel is not just, like I said earlier, they're not just accidentally hitting their things, these things. They're hitting hospitals. They're now, they've now been targeting the solar array of the hospital, one of the main hospitals, because they want them to have no energy. They want the incubators with the babies in them to stop functioning. They have cut off all fuel. They've cut off all water. So people are drinking dirty water, which is the number one killer of humans on this planet. They, uh, they have, have uh, been, been shooting at all power sources. They, so they're creating this crisis. And yet he phrases it as, we need to deal with this crisis. Well, if you're going to say a sentence like that, then talk about who's causing it. Say Israel has created this genocidal conditions. Uh, thank you, TNT, for the donation. All right, a little more from Bernie. To deal with the horrific humanitarian disaster that you described. I mean, the people have no water, they have no food, they have no fuel. Their hospitals have been bombed. It is a total... There it is again. Their hospitals have been bombed. By who? We don't know. Fell from the sky. Magic, magic bombs. They just, they just have been bombed. Disaster. And we are on the brink of seeing thousands more people die. Hundreds. Seeing, boy, he, he, is, he has pulled out every trick in the book to not say, I'm not saying he never says the word Israel. I, 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 like I said, this is just part of the clip. He, I'm sure he does say Israel plenty of times. But in terms of the most graphic stuff, the bombing, talking about causing the bombing, talking about causing the crisis, here he says, hundreds of thousands of people were displaced. How were they displaced? We don't know. We don't know. It's just, it, there was a flood, I guess. Maybe. I don't, it, who knows? Hundreds of thousands of people were displaced. Where are they going? Can they return to their homes? Many of them are living in overcrowded conditions in your. Many of them are living in overcrowded conditions. No, many of them have been forced into an open air prison. They've been forced into overcrowded conditions. They're not just living in overcrowded conditions. They showed up and they were like, this seems a little crowded. I don't know why we're doing this. Uh